mind-blowing feature in Microsoft Teams that allows you to overcome language barriers. You can have an AI interpreter in real time during a meeting, like this. Puoi avere in tempo reale un interprete AI durante un meeting. Du kannst während eines Meetings ein echtzeit ki dolmetscher nutzen. Let me show you how this works and how you can enable it. Let's go. Here I have the Microsoft documentation open about uh, interpreter in Microsoft Teams meetings. The requirement that you have to follow is the Microsoft 365 Copilot license, which is needed to use this capability. And this is the one that I have on my tenant. I'll show you in a bit how it works this AI capability in Microsoft Teams meetings. I will add also the link in the description of this video if you want to read this page. Now let's jump on my Microsoft Teams client and let me open a meeting that I have already available here on my calendar. Now I'm going to join this meeting and I'll show you in a bit how you can configure and turn on interpreter in Microsoft Teams. Okay, I selected the inputs and outputs properly. Let me join now the meeting. And now the meeting is running. So first thing to do, this is my suggestion, turn on live caption because this will also help you to overcome language barrier. So it will be more easy for the user to follow the what the interpreter is saying. Okay, let's jump now on language. It's time to turn on interpreter. So to do that, let's go on language and then turn on interpreter for me. Then let's jump on manage settings. And here, assuming that you are speaking English, we are going to start with English. You can then select the language that you want to hear by the interpreter. So in this case, German. Then you can choose the balance of the volume so you can have more audio for the original if you can hear the first language or if you prefer to hear and listen the interpreter it makes more sense to move the slider in this position okay let's jump down below we can see simulate my voice this is pretty cool basically interpreter will reuse your your voice or you can select a default one available. We have three, Ava, Andrew and Fable Turbo. So let's go by simulating my voice. I'm very curious how my voice, it sounds. Okay, now let's hit the button confirm. And now interpreter is uh, turned on. So if I go here again, I can reopen interpreter. I can turn off for me or turn off for all. It's really up to you how you want to have this. But let's confirm this and I think I'm going with that. So of course we need to enable the microphone. So in this case, interpreter is able to interpret. Aktivieren Sie das Mikrofon. In diesem Fall kann der Dolmetscher dolmetschen. <laughs> can you hear? It's absolutely crazy and fantastic this way of overcoming language Kannst barriers. Du hören, das ist absolut verrückt und fantastisch ist auf diese Weise Sprachbarrieren zu überwinden. All right, let me change now language because I'm very curious. Alles klar. Lassen Sie mich meine Sprache ändern, weil ich sehr neugierig bin. In this case, let's go with Spanish. Confirm. And now we are going to en have este a Spanish caso, vamos interpreter. Con el español. Confirma. Y ahora vamos a tener un carácter español. Now another thing, very cool, is that you can adapt live ahora, caption. Let's go here. Language settings. Bien, otra cosa muy asterisco, 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 es que puedes adaptar la acción en directo. Vamos aquí. Configuración de idioma. And now let's select Spanish. So live caption will follow interpreter. Y ahora seleccionemos español. 
Así que los subtítulos en vivo seguirán al intérprete. That's absolutely fantastic and killer feature for my opinion. Esa es una característica absolutamente fantástica y asesina para mi opinión. Let me know what do you think about this feature. Add a comment down below and I will follow up. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.